Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And so I'm going to be playing the Mousehold Family Deck. Um, really struggling to get some good footage of this. I swear, in testing, this deck was working. I've, I'm recording a bunch of games. Some just aren't living up to what the deck is ha has been doing in testing, and some others are doing okay. Uh, so this might be the worst deck that I've ever brought you guys, and I do apologize about that, but it is fun. I, I do have fun with it. I love the mechanics behind it. I, I've said that in several videos I've recorded. I don't know which ones will make it to this channel, you know? So let's see what happens here. Ooh, strong start here, actually. We've got two Tandem Mouse, and we've got a Nest Ball a grass energy and escape rope we can actually do some work here in this first turn uh our opponent does mulligan so we're gonna get one more card which will just help us out here a serena okay not not anything great here Ooh, we are playing up against the Lunatone deck, which might also have a mu v star in there a uh, mu 2 v star sorry uh, so Lunatone, Soul Rock, very good combination, really good at dealing with single prizers as they can get going, kind of turn one, which is very dangerous for us. So we, we'll have to see what we can pull off here, but, um, and I think our hand just filled up to the point where we actually won't get to do, use Cricketune quite how I was imagining, um, but we will go ahead, Escape Rope, Cricketune into the active, and we're going to Bruno, saving the Serena and the Professor's Research for later, and beautiful. This this hand just got so good, so fast. I love it. This is how it should work. Um, and I say that now, really hoping it doesn't fail me later on, but look at our bench, full of 40 HP Pokemon, not too shabby we need two mouse holds out on the field um when we attack in order to get these ko's here so really we're going to be trading one ko for one ko for a while uh if they grab the cricketune v ko that is gonna hurt us a bit um they just discard a ton of cards holy cow uh rescue carrier Probably, is that a second level ball? I think so. Nest Ball and Ultra Ball off of that uh, Misfortune uh, Sisters there. Yeah, discard any number of item cards. Holy cow. That was just a lot of item cards gone. That level ball would have been very useful. The Ultra Ball, not so much. But the level ball definitely would have been. Um, we do get into our Stage 1s a little bit easier than I was expecting, which is nice. Um... Big question here is, do I Ultra Ball, then Cricketune to draw more, or do I attach the Grass Energy? I'm going to Ultra Ball here, and maybe that will kick me later. Maybe it won't, though. I'm really hoping it won't, but hopefully we can get into a Supporter or something to draw more cards here. We don't get a support, but we still get the Grass Energy. Um, we get a Beach Court, so we can just retreat into the Mouse Hold there. And we will family attack for the KO, obviously. And we get one prize card. A lot of work for one prize, but that's what this game is going to be about. Taking each prize as we can. So we get a Cherubi, which we don't need. We already have Cherum out on the field. We can Ultra Ball that away, most likely. Unless they try to boss up the Cherum to uh, severely hamper our energy acceleration however we are slowing down their energy acceleration by removing the soul rock why is trekking shoes popping up when i'm looking at soul rock that's interesting um so they but soul rock's pretty easy to get back they've got rescue carry they've got similar tricks to what we've got and they've already got enough energy there to ko our mouse hold so uh we really need to try to keep up with them they they do have a much easier time maneuvering everything we can take the bigger ko's if mu v star or even mu two mu two v star or just mu two v come out onto the field we might be able to swing it into our advantage by gusting it up and trying to take that ko there 
So yeah, they recover the Soul Rock. They're going to attach the Bench Lunatone. No reason to waste energy on the active Lunatone. They're getting the KO. They are just getting the KO. No worries there. Yep, there's that KO for them. Now, we do actually need uh, quite a bit here, it seems. We need a couple Grass Energy, and uh, another Mouse Hold would be nice. So we do get Bruno. That's pretty awesome. We're going to go ahead and Ultra Ball away the Switch and the Cherubi, so we can get that Mouse Hold. There we go. And then we're going to use Krikatoon. Krikatoon's going to let us draw three cards, and then the Bruno... At after we play any cards we draw here, we'll shuffle everything back into the deck and allow us to, um, you know, hunt for more cards, basically. Which is exactly what this deck was built to do. Uh, I, I've mentioned it before. I don't know if you guys have heard it, though. Uh, I did build this deck with the, um, uh, the youngster card in mind of shuffling your hand into your deck drawing cards rather than professor's research and i did enjoy it it was just a little too slow and i went with professor's research to try to speed things along and i'm wondering if i overcorrected because i am running into situations where i have to discard quite a bit with professor's research um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, because why not? But already, I do like this video, uh, this match here that we have, because it is showing Mousehold doing what Mousehold does, of g doing these high damage attacks. 140 is quite a bit, and we could reach to uh, 210 pretty easily. If we just had one more Mousehold here... Uh, evolved up we would have had that already but right now i am hoping we can get into our rescue carrier we've already discarded one we need one more now so that's going to be the struggle here see i like my opponent using the youngster especially against another single prize deck youngster is really beneficial you don't need to go as fast against a single prize deck when you're just trading one prize for one you just need to find the advantage eventually and we are in the head we are in the lead that's how we have an advantage they really need to be uh, focusing on gusting up the cricketune and grabbing an advantage through that that that's really what they're going to be focused on i feel and so it'll be interesting to see when and how they do that uh, Manaphy, I'm going to play down the Manaphy, which might seem strange, but remember, we've already lost a Rescue Carrier and uh, Cherubi, so we need more basics down the bench to Thornton into in the future here. So we do get a Mouse Hold, that's nice. I was really hoping for a, um, a Rescue Carrier, though, that... That would definitely make this turn way better, in my opinion. But we do have the Thornton, so we might be able to get next turn. But let's go ahead. We're going to puke and muke you. Draw a card. Switch. Not the card we were hoping for. Um, we can't really lower our hand enough to draw with Krikatoon. But we have this level ball, so we can draw one more card next turn. And maybe that will make the difference. Uh, but it probably won't. Uh, but we'll have to see. This might be where Mousehold is struggling now. Only taking these single prizes. Mousehold was not designed to take single prizes. It was really designed to uh, take big KOs, you know, multiple prize KOs with a single prize Pokemon. So you can fall back a bit and you will catch up again just by that pulling, you know, um... So we'll see if we can actually pull this through or not. But uh, there is our second rescue carrier. We lost. With that, we have lost. We are not able to recover any of our uh, mouse holds. We are not... Like, this Thornton is not going to benefit us. That moment, that moment there is where our opponent got ahead in this match. And we are stuck we cannot move forward anymore and that's just too darn bad i was really looking forward to a good match going back and forth and our opponent with the misfortune sisters which is a very good card um that i just struggle to play myself 
They take away all of our recovery options, and now we don't really have much to go on. I mean, I might be able to start powering up the Krikatoon V, but I don't think I'll be able to do that fast enough, sadly. Um, no, we'll put the Krikatoon V into the active. What do we have here? We have Pukumuku. Top deck and Pukumuku is not a good feeling. Uh, did we have something that shuffled our deck? Yes, the Misfortune Sisters. Wait, does that shuffle? Yeah, it does. Okay. That's what happened. Got it. Um, energy retrieval. One, two. Done. Um, we will puke muku. Draw a card. Cricketoon V. Okay. Play that down. Play an energy down to it. Level ball. For the puke muku. And we can't Professor's Research. That will cause us to lose. So we will just mouse hold and family attack for 70. Because we are just in trouble. <laughs> Next turn I can give them mana fee. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I, I don't think there's really much else I can do. Uh, 20, 20 would do it, but I would have to get a lot of grass energy, a lot of grass energy. How much do we have in the discard? Five. So I would need one more energy retrieval, which is in the discard. So no, Miss Fortune Sisters really counters Mousehold. This is interesting. I, I didn't think we were that reliant on item cards, but I am obviously mistaken here. Uh, we are extremely reliant on uh, item cards. And, yeah. Let's go ahead, Puke Muku. We draw another Thornton. Um, attach a Grass Energy there. Level Ball. For Puke Muku. Do we have any Grass Energy? We do. So we need that those two Grass Energy that we have left. We need next turn. Uh, and we will retreat into Manaphy. And they probably have a boss's orders ready to go for this turn, and they should. You know, they they deserve that win. Misfortune Sisters was not something I saw coming, and they really took that victory pretty quickly. Um, even if they don't, uh, I believe this Lunatone is ready to take the Krikatoon KO. So... Yeah, they just... Five energy on there will mean they're doing 180. And that's enough to KO Krikatoon. So, Krikatoon won't even be able to outlast uh, the Lunatone damage here that we are seeing. Yeah, even powering up the, Lun the Lunatone in the active. You know, they already played Youngster, so they're not going to boss this turn. But, yeah. Interesting to see. Fascinating how this all worked, do you know? At least to me it was. <laughs> so we have pretty high chances of getting our final grass energy in this turn. We've got a, the top deck and Pukumuku. Yep, there's the grass energy. Um, I'm going to Pukumuku. Yep, another grass energy. Uh, Thornton. Uh, Manaphy, sure, why not? For the Krikatoon V there. And X Scissor. Getting our two rescue carriers was such a great move. Holy cow. Like, lucky on their end, of course, because, you know, they didn't know they were going to get our rescue carriers. They didn't know how they didn't know that how fragile our deck was when they included it into their deck, you know, but it was still very well played by my opponent. Um, the biggest thing I could take away from this is our deck is very fragile. Uh, losing those pieces really hurt. And it, again, I don't think I could really counter misfortune sisters, but I think Professor's research is causing a lot of harm in the deck. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you agree with that analysis or not. I would love to hear from other people about this deck and what I could possibly do to make it better. But 
congrats to my opponent, Lobster Prime. Obviously a cousin to Optimus Prime, so clearly I was going to lose that match. And uh, yeah, if you didn't know, I like Transformers. Right there, that's completely glared out due to the lighting. That's a Starscream. And I've got like two Starscream figures next to it. Transformers fan. Um, and so, uh, thank you Lobster Prime using that Matrix of Leadership uh, from your cousin to completely obliterate me with a couple of Decepticon uh, Misfortune Sisters. And uh, I know, I don't think anyone here cares about Transformers, or not like, you know, is here for the Transformers content. Uh, if you are, let me know, because uh, you might remember me. Uh, the, if you want to know this story, comment down below. This is the end of the video. Prove to me that you watched it. Comment down below if you want to hear my Transformers history because it might shock you. And uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what I'm doing here, and join the Discord so we can have more one-on-one -on -one interactions and you can help me build my jank decks. And maybe you could have spot this uh, oversight in my deck before I went live with it. And, of course, until next time, keep playing jank.